Hi, welcome to our channel True Up. High-end chips are unquestionably the future development trend. Huawei is inherently difficult to enter the high-end chip production game because it lacks the necessary equipment and technologies. Of course, the semiconductor industry's evolution is not stagnant. More chip materials and technology are already being mined by Chinese researchers. The notion of an integrated photonic quantum chip was initially suggested in the United Kingdom in 2008. When compared to standard chips, optical quantum chips are a completely new chip form with benefits that traditional chips do not have, as well as faults that are momentarily incomparable to traditional semiconductors. Because the traditional chip business has already reached its limit, the technologies that can be implemented are approaching the limit. Depending on how the industry develops in the next 10 years, possibly the optical quantum chip that is being investigated at home and abroad will become an alternative. China conducted research on optical quantum chips, which was successful. Is the US requesting crucial technology from China? What is the relevance of the optical quantum chip development? China is conducting research on optical quantum chips. Since the semiconductor industry chain has undergone several modifications, the notion of shifting lanes has repeatedly surfaced as a means of breaking the gridlock. The goal of shifting lanes is to create more viable alternatives to the initial chip development route. As a result, product concepts such as graphene carbon-based electronics and optical quantum processors have surfaced in everyone's view. Some, such as graphene carbon-based chips, have been validated by theory and experience, and comparable wafers have been fabricated. The optical quantum chip has also been successfully launched, and China has achieved comparable advances. The diameter of the smallest transistor determines the precision of a typical chip. The smaller a single transistor, the more transistors make up the entire chip, and the device's computational capability increases. Electronic gadgets that use this chip may also have increased computational capability. The main distinction between an optical quantum chip and a standard chip is that the optical quantum chip employs light as a carrier, substitutes electricity with light, and combines a large number of optical quantum devices on the chip utilizing micro-nanoprocessing technologies. This chip is more integrated, more accurate, more stable, and has better compatibility than previous chips. A novel programmable silicon-based optical quantum computing processor has been created by the National University of Defense Technology. In the realm of optical quantum chips, USTC accomplishes quantum interference. China Jiatong University has also made advances in optical quantum chip technology, leading the world with femtosecond laser direct writing technology to accomplish three-dimensional integration. In reality, numerous studies on optical quantum chips are still ongoing in China. Some university research teams are conducting more research in the same direction, with a focus on classic silicon-based materials. From the standpoint of analog computing, certain scientific research institutes construct optical quantum simulators. What role has Alibaba played in this regard? In preparation for the future superconducting quantum sector, Alibaba's Dharma Institute has created a 2-bit quantum device. Increased China's research output in optical quantum chips, quantum computing, and other domains. Globally, China is not the only country involved in optical quantum chip development. Germany has also publicly declared that it would design an optical quantum chip. A research initiative for optical quantum computing devices founded by a local startup and 14 semiconductor corporations. This chip tune has gotten more dynamic and busy, as can be observed. In contrast, China's optical quantum chip research has yielded a number of critical breakthroughs. What is surprising is that the US is daring to ask China for vital technologies, while the other side intends to exchange technology in the field of optical quantum processors. This is clearly a desire to sit back and enjoy the success, and the other side has done something similar more than once or twice. When China achieves significant scientific research advances in a particular subject, the other side will want sharing and collaboration. Even in the sphere of aerospace, the opposite side claimed that we did not take the effort to collaborate. Everyone is aware that the other party has obstructed collaboration. 
Domestic technology has reinforced its own route in this scenario. They all rely on themselves, from Beidou satellites to shield machines, space stations, and other significant power projects. These are also carried out in the context of the opposing side building towering walls and installing technical system barriers. Finally, it turns out that if you put your sights on anything, you're certain to succeed. The opposing side has now made many actions in the chip business, barring ASML from freely delivering EUV lithography machines and TSMC from free chip foundry. Who is refusing to cooperate? What is the relevance of the optical quantum chip development? Chips are the crystallization of all humanity's learning. The worldwide chip industry chain has explored a comprehensive manufacturing model after more than a half century of development. Each subdivision realizes root growth through a succession of linkages such as chip design, production, packaging, and so on. But, can the current chip industry chain survive the next 10 years? When it is difficult to break the physical performance limit of chips, is it better to keep the technology that has been established or to boldly open up new industrial directions? That is, actively developing novel technologies. Perhaps more inventive development is more appropriate for the future. Looking at the optical quantum chip right now, many research projects are still in the theoretical stage, but if the theory becomes reality, it will deliver not only information in books, but also practical applications. It is altering people's lifestyles by introducing more modern technological items and a better way of life. This might be the meaning of optical quantum chip development, invention, investigation, and the establishment of a new system from the existing chip industrial chain. Chinese institutions have achieved scientific advances in the field of optical quantum chips, optical quantum chips have also been released, and optical quantum chip projects have been developed by German enterprises. Furthermore, the United States want to share optical quantum chip technology, all of which indicate that the construction of optical quantum chip may not be essential. Its presence is not restricted to theoretical research, it is more likely to develop into a fully functional industrial chain, similar to silicon-based chips in real life. Of course, seeing such an industrial environment may take some time. After all, TSMC and Samsung are still working on silicon-based devices, and 3 nanometers process chips are expected to go into full production in the second part of this year. TSMC has stated that it will begin mass production of 2 nanometers chips in 2025. The optical quantum chip will not transform the industry's status quo in a short amount of time, but it is nonetheless fascinating as a result of future technical advancement. In essence, the optical quantum chip appears to be a bit implausible in my perspective, however research on optical quantum chips is being conducted in nations all over the world. It is so far away from reality because the optical quantum chip is still in its infancy. Perhaps, when the industry's time comes, we will see a different chip period. But we should cling on to optimism, and I believe we can predict that China's core breakthrough is near, and the future of China's core will be bright. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.